Why did Kinsuke say, My island, no fire, Damada, no fire? Why did he say that? We talked about it in the class. Remember our little discussion after? And I explained what I remembered from the story. Why um, did he say that? My island, no fire, Damada, no fire. Because Kinsuke is his island. Well, uh, well, he was there first, so he claimed the island, and he was an old man. So, but why no fire? What, what? What? Okay, first of all, if you were on a deserted island, why would you make a fire? I know what you're going to say. Um, to show when to have you. Yeah, to to signal to put a fire so people can see and hopefully rescue you. But. Kinsuke did not want to be rescued. Why do you think he didn't want to be rescued? Were you listening in class when we talked about this? It's the Mr. Sus. today Dudley um good you're good you reviewed your test you practiced your test you went through your vocabulary you read the story three four times yes uh, <laughs> three times are you lying to me are you lying no, huh? no? I'm just reading okay cool I'm very happy that you did that because I know you'll score higher because of it when you prepare yeah so how's the morning there did you have breakfast I have dinner Dinner, dinner at 8.30 a.m.? No, it's half past seven. <laughs> it's half past seven, huh? That's what happens when you're on other sides of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> the sun just came up and the sun's going down there. <laughs> All righty, Dudley. So here we are, interest 17. Wow. Did you think you'd get this far? Um, I think it's very far. <laughs> yeah, you've been with us for a long time now. But you're doing good. You're getting better and better and better. You're doing good in the vocab challenge. You're doing really good. So today we're going to review two of our topics. One was about being a kid and a teenager. Uh, what it's like, problems they have, what you think about, those general questions. And then the other one is about meals. We talked about some kids and teens in different countries and what they like to eat. So we'll ask some questions about that. And then in our reading comprehension, we're going to talk, we're, we're going to review uh, Michael Porgo, uh, Por, uh, more Porgo, the author, and we're going to read, it's divided in two, and then we're going to read about Kenseke's kingdom, the Japanese soldier that was stranded on the island and the little boy ended up on the island too. Damada, damada, no fire, no fire. That guy, remember the story? Or the yes. extract? All right. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's start with our topic one, yeah? Yes. Okay, buddy. All right. So in part one, social interaction, we're going to talk about being a kid. Or in your case, being a teenager, because you're 13 now, right? 13 or 14? Um, 14. You're 14 now. Holy meatballs. Yeah. So you're going to get 100% today. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. All right. Tell me, Mr. Dudley, what would you do if you failed an exam? Um, I was very afraid. <laughs> You'll be afraid of who? Your mom? Your dad? Your teacher? Me? Who? And we are afraid. Of who? Of my mom. <laughs> You're afraid of your mom, huh? Did you ever fail an exam before? A lot of times. A lot of times? <laughs> so what happens? No more video games? You get in big trouble? Um, he banned me to... By uh, one week, no play video game, only study and study hard. Right. And, but they, but my mom helped me 
and I have a good high spot now. Okay, so you get grounded basically. No video games and TV. You have to study again, and she helps you, but then you pass the test. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good mom, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I I like to play video games. <laughs> you like to play video games. Me too. I played too many video games when I was young. Too much. Games are fun and they're good exercise for your brain, but you just have to watch how many hours you play every day. Do your work first, then play games. Yeah, it's tough. It's not easy. Number two is, what would you do if someone in your school didn't like you? I don't fool him. No, I don't Kick him. do it. Punch him in the I nose. Don't... Give him a knuckle sandwich. I will um, change myself. You'll change yourself? Uh, what do you mean you change yourself? Uh, maybe someone say, maybe he say, you so bad at this thing or that thing. Right. And I change myself. If it good, uh, if it bad, not good for me. Oh, okay. So if someone is saying you're not good at something, you'll try to improve. You'll try to do it better. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, I mean someone in their school, they just don't like you. They call you names or they say bad things about you. What do you, what What happens in a situation like that? How do you deal with that as a 14-year-old boy? I, um, I think it, I don't care. And just don't care about what they think? Yeah. Okay, that's right. So what if they want to fight with you? I will tell a parent or teacher to help me. Okay, so just let them know that there's someone being a bully. Yeah. Yeah. So are there a lot of bullies in your school or not too bad? It's not too bad because I have a lot of friends. Oh, you have a lot of friends, so it's hard for people to bully you. Yeah. Ah, Dudley, the Dudley, the the, 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 the social guy. That's good because if you have a lot of friends and people won't bug you, that's true. It's a good strategy. Or you could learn Kung Fu. No. <laughs> you don't want to learn Kung Fu? No. No, you're lucky you're not my son because if you were my son, you'd be in Kung Fu three nights a week. Monday night Kung Fu. Tuesday night, computer science. Wednesday night, taekwondo. Thursday night, computer science, programming, and coding. Friday night, yeah. you would be in jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not my son, so. Yeah. Play video games. All right. So at your age, what things do you worry about? What do you often worry about? What bothers you? My thing is worrying um, is I can't pass a school. I can't go out of school. So you worry about your marks at school and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. What else do you worry about? Do you ever worry about the future, jobs and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. If, if I don't pass a school on our exam, I can have a good job. Good a job is good pay. I'll say, yeah, and, really? and I and to do what my dream. So, what is your I, dream? My dream is, go as I have a lot of money and uh, do myself. Have lots of money, so to do what you want to do. Yeah. Mm. Do you still plan on being a tour guide? working with travel industry you told me once that your mom and dad were in the tour guide business oh no i don't want to tour guide now oh you changed your mind did you yeah do you like working on computers not playing games but i mean do computers yes. do programming yes, things one. like that yeah i want did you ever I want to edit photography or something Okay, doing editing and Photoshop and things like that. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's really good to know because the future, there's going to be a lot of opportunity with that for sure. That's good. 
<clears throat> we talked about it before. You know, the more skills you have, the more value you'll have. And the more value you have, the more people will pay you money. Yeah. And computers is very important. That's right. All right. So, okay. yeah, you should worry about your school because the better you do in school, the more opportunity you'll have after. That's true. All right, let's go to topic two. Yeah, topic two, we're going to talk a bit about meals, right? We talked about, I think there was a kid in Japan and, and a teen in, where were they? Mexico? I forget where the countries were now. I think it was Canada, Mexico, and Japan, I think. And they were talking yeah, about yeah, what they go. normally have um, for breakfasts and, and meals during the day, how different it was. So what about you? Yeah. If you are going to make a healthy breakfast for mom and dad, you're going to make a nice breakfast, but a healthy one. Yeah. What do you think a healthy breakfast is? What would you make them? A uh, healthy breakfast. Yeah. Fried um, chicken? No, it's no. a little bit meat and for family. Yeah. Uh, for um, you, mom and dad, and your brother, you're going to make breakfast, but you want to make a healthy, healthy so that they have energy today because you're going to go fishing. Uh, I think it's a little bit of bacon. Bacon? Oh, I like that. And uh, a little sandwich. Ah, I'm going to do some sandwiches. Some and bread, bacon. Vegetable. Some vegetables. What, tomatoes and lettuce, things like that? Um, For me and, for me and my brother is a um, cup of milk milk and for my dad and my mom is coffee or something and coffee uh, orange juice yeah some fresh orange juice yeah that would be good beef is healthy so get some good noodles and some fresh juice okay you know what a healthy breakfast is that's good what about anything you could eat describe your favorite meal Mom anything says tonight, I'll, I'll buy you or I'll make you anything you want. What would be your favorite meal? The best. Um, my best is fried chicken and <laughs> fried potato. Uh, fried chicken okay. and fried potatoes. And Bessie. And what? Bessie. Bessie? Uh, Coca-Cola. Oh, Pepsi. Pep. Two Ps, yeah. Pep. C. C. Yeah. <laughs> so it wouldn't be health food. It'd be fried potatoes, fried chicken, and Pepsi. Yeah, it's my favorite meal. Favorite <laughs> <That's food. your> favorite. <laughs> okay. No, there's nothing wrong with that. If you make it at home, though, it's a little bit healthier. But this was yeah. about your favorite meal. That's true. Someday I'll make some fried chicken in the in the air fryer. And I'll show you guys how to make some healthy fried chicken. Yeah, I had some yesterday, a couple of days ago. Really good. Okay. What ingredients would you put on the perfect pizza? So let's say in class we're going to make our fresh dough and our and our tomato sp our pizza sauce, and we have lots of cheese. So already we have the, the dough, the bread, and we have the sauce, and we have lots of cheese. What would you put on that pizza? What would be your best Perfect I think, pizza. I think it's shrimp on and uh, seafood. Pineapple. Shrimp. Okay, everybody says pineapple. Big popular in, in Vietnam. Yeah. So shrimp and pineapple. Okay, seafood pineapple and what else would you put on the pizza? And uh, kind of fish. <laughs> and we have fish. Okay, put some more seafood. Different fish. Different fish. Uh, different fish. Different seafood. What about some um, crab? Do you think crab would be good on a pizza? Yeah, I think. I think so, too. Yeah. Any vegetables? No, I think it's only pineapple. Only pineapple, shrimp, and some more seafood. Yeah. So it's going to be a 
seafood pineapple pizza. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. I don't know about fish. I've never tried fish on a pizza, but I've heard of a tuna, tuna pizza. Yeah. And of course, shrimp is quite popular in many places. I'm not a seafood. I like seafood, but I'm not sure if seafood would be good on a pizza for me. But for you, yeah, okay. That definitely sounds interesting. A shrimp pineapple pizza. I think you need to try it because it's so good. Well, next time I come to Kumfa, you have to make me a shrimp pineapple pizza. Okay. Okay. And I'll make you a meat lover with pepperoni. <laughs> Did you ever have a pizza at Cowboys when we had the restaurant? Yes. Which one? I, it's it's a be beef, Hawaiian. beef with cheese and some sauce, tomato sauce. The hamburger one. Yeah. The BCB bacon cheeseburger and bacon. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. That was really popular. I miss my cowboys. <laughs> All right. That's it for our warm up questions. We talked a bit about meals. We talked a bit about being a teen. Now we're going to go to our reading comprehension. You ready for part two? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Say that year again. What? Say the year again. Uh, 1,999. Yeah, you can say 1,999. Always when 100, we say and after. 1,999. But remember, I told you before, you can make it much shorter. Yeah, you can just say the year 1999. So much shorter. Right, you can group the numbers, 2023, or you could say 2023 or 2023, right? You can do it both ways. All right. We reviewed that part about Michael Morpurgo. I hope I pronounced it right. So who is Michael Morpurgo? Why are we reading about him? What is he? Is he, is he a superhero? No, he is a much loved British author. He's a much loved British author. Why is that? Why is he a loved author? What did he write? Uh, he wrote a um, story wrote. for children. He wrote. wrote. <laughs> he wrote stories for children. Yeah, he did. And he had some very popular books. What were his very popular books? His Pencil Case Kingdom. In Suitcase Kingdom was probably the most popular. But there's another one they made a movie about. What was the other movie co book called? Very, very popular. War Horse. War Horse. War, War Horse. Yeah. yeah. I saw the previews for War Horse. It's kind of a horse who travels through all this time and distances. I think he's trying to find his, his owner or something. I, I really want to see that movie. And I really want to read... Kensuke's Island. And I'm going to set up a reading class for Kensuke's Kingdom. So hopefully you guys will all join us on that reading. We'll read it together. That's true. So he wasn't always an author. That came later. So he went to university. What did he study? And what kind of careers? What jobs? The question is, what careers did Michael have? Um, I have a... He came an Officer in the army. Yeah, it's yeah, an officer. Was. It's not officer. Well, how do we say that? Oh, officer. 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 It's S sound. Yeah, officer. Okay. So he became an officer in the army. What else did he do? Um, he uh, by, by primary school teacher. And then he became a primary school teacher. That's right. What did he study in university? And um, uh, French. He studied French. He had a passion for French. That's right. And then he became an author. Okay. And then he wrote all those books, more than a hundred books. So in Kensuke's, oh no, no, sorry, I jumped to the wrong one. I'm not supposed to ask that question now. I said, what careers did Michael have? 
Sorry. The next question, I'll have to delete all that. Ah! All right. We'll do that one again. Question three. After he became a successful author in his career, why did Michael and his wife buy a farm? They want to be farmers or what? Mm, they want to... Um, they want to children from city can come to spend time in the country looking after animals. They wanted to bring children there to learn about how to take after animals. That's right. A lot of city kids don't get an opportunity to see the old ways and, and how to live in the countryside. That's true. All right. Pretty simple. So now we're going to read that article or extract from Kensuke's Kingdom. And I'll ask you some questions about that and see how much you understand it. But the review first, right? There's the first part here. It says, this kind of sets the tone. Washed up on an island in the Pacific, right? The Pacific Ocean. Michael was a young boy, struggles to survive on his own with no food and no water. So he's a, he's, he falls off the boat from his family, and then he gets washed up onto the deserted island, and he thinks he's going to die. And then he curls up in a ball and goes to sleep. But when he wakes up, there's a plate beside him with fish fruit, and a bowl of fresh water. Then he realizes, the little boy understands, I'm not alone. There's someone else on this island. So when he first meets the old man, what happens? Chapter 5, Ai Kensuke. Argue. 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 <laughs> I, didn't, I did not argue would walk away as one but what a what walk away as once ed how are we gonna say that but walk it. walked walk go to the key but k but don't let it out walked walked yeah walked away at once all right okay so there was the extract from from kinsu i kinsuke yeah Interesting book. I really want to read it. Why was the old man angry? And the old man is running up the beach, yelling at the boy. Why was he angry? Uh, because the um, boy burning fire. Yeah, making a fire. Yeah, or had a fire going maybe. Yeah, he was making a fire, fire and the old man was very angry. Uh, we'll talk about why after. But the boy didn't understand what he was saying. What language did Michael think the old man was speaking? Michael think is Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, Chinese or Japanese, that's right. Why did Kensuke say, My island, no fire, damada, no fire? Why did he say that? We talked about it in the class. Remember our little discussion after? And I explained what I remembered from the story. Why um, did he say that? My island, no fire. Damada, no fire. Because Why? the is his island. Well, well, he was there first, so he claimed the island, and he was an old man. So, but why no fire? What, what? What? Okay, first of all, if you were on a deserted island, why would you make a fire? I know what you're going to say. Um, to show when to have you. Yeah, to, to signal, to put a fire so people can see and hopefully rescue you. But Kinsuke did not want to be rescued. Why do you think he didn't want to be rescued? Were you listening in class when we talked about this? Uh, um, because <laughs> he's just... He he's want, <laughs> I don't want to... Yes. Well, how, how did he, do you remember how he got to the island? How come he was on the island? Because he was the same as the boy years ago. He was stranded on the island. And then years later, the boy was stranded on the island. 
How did the old man get there? Kensuke. Uh, it's not in the uh, book. We just talked about it. It's not in the book. I think he the role uh, island. No. I don't he, okay, I'll tell you the, a, a bit what I remember of the story, but that's why I want to read it. My understanding is that he was a pilot for the Japanese army in World War II in the 1940s. And his plane crashed on the island or around the island. And he was stranded on the deserted island. So he was stuck there too, just like Michael. Um, but when he crashed there, it was a war. It was World War II. So now that you know that, why do you think he didn't want to make a fire? Because... The yeah, fighter came and killed him. Exactly. He was afraid that it wouldn't be the Japanese that would see him. He was afraid it would be the Americans or the British that would see him and then come to rescue and say, you're Japanese, boom, boom, boom. Or they're going to put him in prison for war crimes or a, a war prisoner, right? So that's why he was afraid of being captured by the enemy. That's why. But... Yeah. This was a long time later. Now he's an old man, but he has no handphone. He has no radio. He doesn't know that the war is Changed. over ended. Yeah. The war has been over for many, many years. So the young boy, what's wrong with this guy? Why doesn't he want me to make a fire? He doesn't want me to get rescued from mom and dad because they're looking for me. But uh, Kensuke is like, no, I don't want to be a prisoner of war. So he didn't know the war was over. That's why. Remember, when we do our reading topics in the class, we always have a little conversation, just like we do in our reading class. So try not to play so many video games in class. Um, that's a lot. <laughs> uh -huh. Last question. What does it mean? Is known as is useless yeah damada in japanese apparently means means useless no good useless you're not good for anything fire no good or you're no good i don't know if he was talking about the fire or talking about the boy but basically useless no good that's right all right macaroni we are done another test interest seven gone next week we start uh Reading. Next week we start reading. Next week. Interest. Uh, is it 30? 30. That's it. I'm going to put you in interest 30. B2. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Interest 18, mister. But yes. Okay. But we do have reading class next week, of course. And again, I'm going to try to do another reading class. So it's good. You just got to keep reading, keep paying attention, try to, not try to remember, but try to, when we're having discussion in the class, if you're involved, you'll remember it. But if you're just listening and you're doing something else, you're going to forget it. Okay. See you next week. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Dudley.